Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald Moemon. Again, still in the end game, and uh, this should be the last episode right here as we're going to be capturing the legendary trio of this region. Oh, of the Hoenn region. Um, I went ahead and off-screened, uh, off-screened catching a, uh, a, uh, Whalmer and, uh, capturing a Relicant. Uh, of course I went ahead and nicknamed the Whalmer, uh, Jojo because... You can't tell me that reminds you of Jojo right there. Uh, mainly talking about, uh, is it part four? It's either, I think it's either part three or part four Jojo. Uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, what the parts are. No, it's part three Jojo. Um, Jotaro, I believe, if I remember correct, that was his name, Jotaro. Uh, so, yeah, you can't tell me that doesn't remind you of him. Okay, so, but also, uh, we have, uh, Relicanth, ready to go, and, uh, I believe I went ahead and taught, uh, Jojo here both Surf and Dive. It's been, there's two HMs, well, first off, you're gonna need both the Surf and Dive T uh, HM for this, get my TMs and HMs mixed up, and you'll also need Dig. Uh, I went ahead and taught Doom Slayer Dig and Fa uh, over, uh, Rock Tomb, which is kind of terrible, whatever, I don't care. But in any case, though, we're going to go ahead and uh, head out this way. It's also worthwhile mentioning that I am going that there are going to be some trainers on this route. But I'm going to show you all the path y'all need to take in order to uh, unlock the legendary tree of this region. Bear in mind, you can do this before you can do this before you can do you can unlock the legendary tree of this region before you face the elite four, I believe. However, though, before, however, if you try to capture the uh, legendary trio in this region before you beat the elite foreign champion, uh, you will need a series of other uh, HMs. You'll need Flash. You'll need uh, uh, Rock Smash. I think. I think you may also need Fly. But I'm not certain. Fly most certainly to travel around, but yeah, you should have access to those HMs though, because by the time you have the HM Surf and can get down here, uh, and also have the HM Dive. Uh, you should have, of course, obviously, all the other HMs that need in order to capture the Legendary Trio. But that said, though, let's get going down here. Hold up. I'm going to be using a video to kind of figure out where to go exactly, because I did come through this route already. I didn't beat all the trainers on it, however, because, as you can currently see, this is a bit of a pain ass to have to uh, navigate through. So, let's see if we can find our way through here. I think we have to go down here. We had to go to the very bottom, or he went to the very bottom. And this is going to take us directly into a uh, trainer that we have to face. Um, luckily, we can kick his ass real easily. So, let's see. Oh my god, he's got all the Gyarados. Learn Charge. Uh, charge can be a pretty powerful move to have. It raises your it has the chance of raising your special defense. I don't know if it does it here in Generation Three. Generation Four it raises your special defense, uh, but its main the main point of the move Charge is to make your next Electric type move even more powerful. Uh, but we're going to keep uh, keep Thunder Wave because Thunder Wave's more uh, useful in my opinion at this point. Gyarados! Oh, good God! This man has all the Gyarados. I didn't see what he's about to send out. Of course, another Gyarados. Jesus, have one match. I was expecting him to have only one Gyarados and then to have multiple, um, uh, have only one Gyarados and multiple magic cards, but uh, it appears I was mistaken. Um, uh, let's get that guy out of the front and actually put Doom Slayer up front because that would be a lot more interesting. Uh, let's see here. Also, for any of y'all playing Doom 2016 PvP, I'm gonna give y'all a warning. Uh, last night when I was playing some PvP, I came across a hacker. Uh, so, oh y'all yeah, be safe if you're playing, if you're interested in playing Doom 2016, y'all been playing a lot of PvP in it. Uh, I assume he was a hacker because he was teleporting through walls to specific areas on the map, and it very much felt like he was not, every single shot he fired from his guns were all headshots. So, yeah. I believe for here, here's another series of trainers that we're definitely uh, going to go ahead. Hey, okay, so though, here you go. We should be back now. 
Uh, you can't, and when you come over here, you should add bump into this guy. Just go down and you'll launch right off right here. You'll have to fake, or you could go up actually if you really don't want to fight either of these guys. Run down this way. This guy right here will be running back and forth. I don't think I've faced that old lady yet down there, but we're fixing to. Uh, but I figured I'd mention that. Uh, there's an item here. Uh, I'll tell you, after I face this old lady uh, in a Pokemon battle, um, I'll get you back after that. Alright, here we are, we're back, uh, however, I need to grab this item, it's a protein, that's not too bad. Uh, now then, where am I supposed to head to next, Mr. Video? Right down here below this old lady, no, I don't want to talk to her. We come out right over here. A little bit, is there anything interesting up there? No, but I forgot to put on a damn repel. Because, obviously, gotta for there's, it's not a perfect fucking video until you forget to put on fucking repels. Oh, good god. In case you weren't able to tell, I'm actually very upset by the fact I ran into a wild Pokemon. Completely preventable if I had on a fucking repel. Good job, me. In any case, though, uh, I believe we're supposed to come down this way and go right here. This should take us out right here. I believe we go down this way, down one, and then we do a surf. And here we are. This is our location. Please use dive right here. Uh, don't need Mr. Video on the side. I'll leave the video linked in the description below if y'all want to check it out. Uh, the entire video is like a 32 minute long video covering just where you can capture all the legendaries. He also covers certain legendaries that are no longer available to be caught inside of Generation 3 without the ac without accessing a certain event. Uh, right here, um, in case you were wondering, this is Braille. Uh, if you want to read Braille, of course, you obviously have access to the internet, but, uh, so you can use the internet to figure out what this says if you really want to. Uh, but that said, though, let's resurface as it's so, uh, as it's, uh, telling us to do right now. And we find ourselves in a sealed chamber. Uh, no clue what these things say. Uh, don't really care either. The important bit is this right here. This right here, once again, in Braille, is telling you to use... It's actually, once again, telling you to do something. It's telling you to use Dig. Alright. And you come through here. And, uh, this is very interesting. As it's telling you to, uh, do something in particular that requires JoJo here being up front, and Relicanth being at last in our team. And... Sounds like a car. At the end there, you heard what sounded like three doorways opening, or it's supposed to sound like three doorways opening, but, uh, if, yeah, if that's not what you, if that's what you didn't think it sounded like, but that's supposed to be three doorways opening up, uh, elsewhere. And that's it. We can go capture the legendaries now. Uh, I'll cut. I'll make a quick uh, segue to uh, us heading to the first location where we're going to capture uh, one of the three legendaries. I'll see you guys then. All right. Uh, here we are. We're actually in the uh, town here. We're at the uh, normal type gym. Leader. Um, real quick, actually, we're going to go move our Pokemon around. Uh, I do remember, I believe if I should remember exactly where the locations are, but we're going to start, but if you look at the Hoenn map, we're actually going to start from left and we're going to go to the right of the Hoenn region. Uh, so basically this will be in order of which these Pokemon you could catch uh, in terms of uh, if you were trying to progress to the game. Uh, granted, you can catch them normally uh, through normal progression to the game. Uh, by the way, yes, I technically consider these Pokemon part of the, uh, potentially part of the team. Um, that's actually what this box is for. Any Pokemon I actually wouldn't have a problem with using on the team is actually what uh, the Pokemon in this box. With uh, Rias, the Salamence, Tamamo, the Nine Tails, Beldum, I would need to have taught her, uh, taught her, uh, taught Beldum, or get, taught, not taught, good god, man, um, had given Beldum a nickname if I really wanted to use, uh, Beldum on the team, uh, Relic Camp was a bit of a null and void just there to be there, and then JoJo because, Everyone's got, like, JoJo means somehow. Or for some reason. Uh, in any case, though. 
Let's go ahead and go down here. I believe this Pokemon we're about to capture is an Ice type. Uh, we're gonna need to put that Repel back on. But what you wanna do is you wanna come out from that town onto Route 104. And uh, I've already... We're gonna go all the way down here, actually. Uh, what we're gonna do is, first off, get on the water. Then what we're gonna do is, second off, put up a Repel so that one wore off. We're gonna go this way. This Legendary we're about to capture as it is an ice type, I believe. If I remember correctly, it is an ice type. Dear God, I hope I'm correct. Um, yeah, that person's trying to block our way. No, you can't go five feet without having a faggot uh, somehow up here in front of you. And here we are. If we had not have done what we did earlier, this would not be open. In addition to that, Entering into the cave. Oh shit, we may actually need it. Uh, yeah, we actually need it. Um, hold up a second. I do not know which one we need here. Consult the guide. Consult the guide. <laughs> Alright, so for this one, I think all you have to do is... Hold up, back to this uh, thing. All, all you have to do is run this way, this way. Be very careful not to screw it up. And it opens. Uh, we're going to need flash for one of these, by the way, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to have to teach a Pokemon flash. I'm going to have to dig through my damn PC to figure out which one wants to learn flash. Uh, that said, though, uh, Deku, we need you up front. Because we're capturing Pokemon, not actually. No. no. And here you see there's a Pokemon standing before us. I believe... Uh, I'm going to drop a save state even regardless. But I believe we can walk right up to him. Yeah, we can kick him even and he won't care. I bet it would hurt though. Because this thing's a solid chunk of fucking ice. And guess who we ran into? Reggie Ice. My god, that's a beautiful sprite, actually. I love that. That's amazing. I forgot we were playing Moemon for a second. I was expecting to see the normal sprite for Red Ice. <laughs> uh, I'm being a bit of a dumbass. I do not know what moves it knows that this thing could possibly know. Uh, it knows Curse, though. Speed Fell, Attack Rose. Ice type in this generation isn't physical, is it? I don't think it is. No, I think it is. Oh god, I think it is. Thankfully, it's paralyzed. Good old bite and paralysis combo. Actually, this is actually great. That was unintentional, too, teaching it, having it know those two moves. Oh wow. Uh, the only thing that would make this even better is if we could find a way to confuse it. But then again, where that would be if we are trying to kill it. Uh, Oh god, it knows Ancient Power. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. Ancient Power is an interesting move. Ancient Power has, is a pretty can be a relatively powerful attack. I don't forgot what its base power was. I know it ain't completely accurate though, if I remember correctly. Uh, but the, what's the main the main draw of Ancient Power, however, is in general, in particular, in Generation Four, uh, I believe there is at least two Pokemon that were that are required to know Ancient Power before they evolve. But the main draw, but aside from that, the main draw from Ancient Power is. There is a very slight chance that all of your stats will be risen by one stage when using Ancient Power. Though that includes your attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed. All five of those stats will be raised, but it's only a small chance. It isn't going to happen all the time. Uh, do we want to try this one more time? Fuck it. I'll cut back to when we capture it. Good job, Deku. You're such a faggot. I'll get you guys back when we actually capture it. Well, there you have it. We caught it after God knows how many fucking attempts. I 
the last fucking attempt I tried to did, I went through all of my fucking Ultra Balls, and the damn thing fucking struggled to death. Holy shit, fuck you, Reggie! <laughs> it's not the worst fucking time I've spent catching Legendary. I believe I mentioned last episode, I spent probably an entire fucking week non-stop trying to capture a fucking Legendary. I think the most painful one was trying to capture Azelf in a fucking Great Ball. I mean, it was expected to be painful as shit to try and fucking do. But holy shit. It was annoying as sh- it was annoying as hell. I spent an entire week, I think I spent an hour on it uh, for every single day for an entire week trying to fucking capture Azelf in a fucking Great Ball and it was so fucking annoying. The reason why I wanted to capture in a Great Ball, by the way, is the fucking Great Ball's colors match Azelf perfectly and I wanted it in a fucking Great Ball because I like the way it fucking looks. And trust me, if we play Pokemon- if we play fourth generation Pokemon, I will do it again too because I think it matches just that well. That said, though, we now have Reggie Ice. Holy crap. Uh, no. That's gonna get transferred into the same box as, uh, my other Pokemon, but... That said, though, we caught Reggie Ice. Let's get the hell out of here. Now then, I'm gonna take off to the next location, which we're gonna capture our next Legendary. I think for this one, we actually need Flash. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to consult the fucking guide again. Again, fucking Windows trying to blow, blast my goddamn ears out. Fucking hell. Uh, but I'll cut and I'll catch you guys uh, then. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, we're actually here and we need Rock Smash for this next one actually that we're gonna get. And then next, the one after that's Flash. Um, so if that's the case... No! Game! Fuck sakes, Xbox controller! Fuck this goddamn controller! Fucking hell! God damn, fuck that shit! Ugh! Okay, we're gonna need no on the team. Xbox controller, I swear to god, you fucking do it again, I'll throw you across the goddamn room. Holy shit, fuck this controller! Uh, let's see here. You'll actually be pretty good for this. Uh, let's bring you out. Uh, we'll just put you there for now, because I don't give a shit. Alright, so this next one, I'm... In Lava Ridge, so we're gonna head this way, we're gonna go into the desert. The fucking Rappel War off. Fuck you too, you mountaineer. Probably everything I could've went fucking wrong, just went wrong. In any case though, let's get down here, and we what we want to do is we want to head about as far south into the desert as possible. Also, let's use a fucking Rappel. Because, you know, fuck every Pokemon that lives here in this fucking desert. Uh, so let's see, going all the way down here. We've already killed everything here. Here we go, this place. For this place, you want Rock Smash. Go up here, that's basically what it's telling you. It's telling you to use Rock Smash, but not right here. It wants you to do this. One, two, one, two. Then it wants you into your inventory. Go to your Pokemon that knows Rock Smash. And use Rock Smash. Voila. Now this one. Is Reggie Rock? Let's drop a save state. All right. Let's see. Are we opening up with the right Pokemon? Hopefully, uh, I imagine he's just a pure Rock type, so Thunderwave should still affect him. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, how the fuck does she move, though? Wait, is that, is that supposed to be a skirt? I feel like her lower half of her body is just pure rock. It's just nothing but rock. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. In any case, though, let's see if we can capture it. Oh, God, no superpower, okay. I think that's fighting type? Oh, God, we nearly killed it in one fucking hit! Um... As you can currently see, uh, we use about five Ultra Balls to capture Reggie Ice on when we actually captured it. So, let's see how Regirock's gonna be to us, because we also still have that Timer Ball we could use. Yeah, Carap kills Deku here. Tell you what, real fast, let's walk out to a Pokemon that actually has some real defense on him. Uh, does water typing resist rock types? 
Whatever, King's got a good physical defense, so it's fine. Uh, I don't think he knows any grass type moves. Okay, so let's just keep going, keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. I probably should just skip to where I capture. Oh, Jesus Christ, game, fuck's sakes. Was well, I wrong? I thought King had a good physical defense. Whatever, I don't care. Yeah, we're gonna use the next one. I know Vorties has to have good physical defense. Jesus. There we go, caught it. Is that what Regiwalk wanted? Just to take out one of my Pokemon? Before it lets us capture it. Uh, no. Okay, so that's Reggie Rock, and come out this way. Back out into the desert. Uh, I'm not sure if these caves disappear. I feel like they should, but either way, though, I'll cut to the next town after I have my Pokemon that does Flash, because for the next one, we need Flash. Alright, we're back here in the fucking treehouse place, and, uh, bad news. Nobody except for Deku or Doomslayer can fucking learn Flash. Fuck this game. God. Mm, I hate Flash that fucking much. I would've been willing to put it on a fucking Eevee just because I think it's better than Sand Attack to a certain degree. But for fuck's sakes. God damn, that pisses me off more than anything. Anyways, come on out this way. I believe... For fuck's sake. Well, of course we walk into fucking grass. I'm gonna throw this fucking X uh, Xbox controller across the goddamn room before this playthrough is done. Um, then in case that we're gonna be going this way, and this way, it's raining. Hope I'm fucking right about this. Should be. Keep going, just keep her going, even though you're going fuck all slow through the fucking grass. And we're just about there. Gotta go up this way, and we need to surf? No. We're good. And here it is. Do you have anything to say about this sudden cave that opened up next to you? But it has no entrance. Fam, have you fucking looked at the rock, dude? There's a there's a fucking hole in it. There's an entrance. <laughs> Whatever. All right, for this place, it's just simply telling you to go to the center of the room. Then use Flash. And here is Reggie Steel. Oh my god, the repel back for off. Oh my god, that actually scared me for a second. Let's drop a save state. Alright, Reggie Steel. What do you guys say? Oh my god, he's a transformer. <laughs> Oh my god, that's actually really nice. I love that sprite, actually. <laughs> that's a really nice sprite. Aside from the fact it has claws, therefore it could claw the shit out of you, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and bite it. I doubt that's going to do much damage to it, so we can just slowly whittle it down. It could take one more. Oh yeah, it definitely could take one more. <laughs> Now what the hell are we going to send out? Maybe we try... It's not doing much to Deku right now, actually. Whatever. We have 23 Ultra Balls to work with and one Timer Ball. Because I guarantee you by 23 fucking turns, Timer Ball will fucking maxed out. <laughs> so let's just start speeding this up and throwing all these Ultra Balls. I think it knows Superpower, too. Metal Claw. Guess it knows Curse as well. What else are you now? I don't think we've seen all your moves yet. Yeah, next one. Uh, I think King can handle it. Again, King should have good physical defense, if I remember correctly. Um, come on. Get in the ball. Don't be a pain in the ass like Reggie Ice was. It's like, no! Not get in the ball. It's like that one meme. Get in the ball! No! Get in the ball! To get in the ball! No! <sighs> Sorry if that's too loud. Actually, I'll adjust the audio personally, actually, if it's too loud. Uh, yeah, use next Pokemon. Boris, you can take a hit from this. Uh, yeah. 
Oops. I think it's supposed to be an almost got it that time around, and... Actually, a timer ball would match this uh, sprite really perfect, uh, pretty perfectly, actually. Oh, fucking hell, I didn't do it. Pokeball! Here, another Pokeball. Use the SNES ball. Oh my god, did that have hearts? It has hearts. And... We're restarting because we have no more Pokeballs. Probably should have gotten when I got some more Ultra Balls, but I don't give a shit. I'll cut to whenever I finally fucking catch it. This could potentially be up to a day later, for fuck's sakes. You know, the whole, like I said, the whole meme of Get Nap Ball! But no! Literally, Reggie Steele's like a five year old, and a five year old stubbornly refused to fucking do anything. Anyways, I'll catch you guys uh, whenever I catch it. Well, that's a lot sooner than I thought it was going to be. Oh, dear. Uh, literally, the next attack, like the very, I think it was the, the very first or the second Ultra Ball through. I think it was the very first Ultra Ball I threw. Plus, it's not even on 1 HP like it was previously. Huh. Well, there's pre there's your last Legendary you can capture in Generation 3. Uh, like, that's worth while mentioning there are other Legendaries you can capture. You can capture Oho, you can capture Lugia, you can capture Deoxys. You can capture Mew, but all those Pokemon are event exclusive and Emerald. So unless you have, uh, I mean, I could use a cheat. I could use cheat codes potentially to try and get it to work. But for whatever reason, I think with the emulator I'm using, cheat codes for something like Pokemon Emerald Moemon versus playing normal uh, Pokemon Emerald is apparently different for whatever reason, or the game or the system appears to think it's different. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't tried to put in cheat codes in this game. Uh, in this version of the game, uh, in the Moemon, in Emerald Moemon, yet, so, either way. Um, there we go. Last of Legendary Trio. Um, let's go ahead and head back into town and have a look at them. Go in here. And go over here. Let's see up our Pokemon first. And let's head over here to the PC. And there's lovely Reggie Steel. And there are pretty much all the legendaries you can capture inside Emerald. Without having to use cheat codes and not having access to any events. You have Rayquaza, you have Groudon, you have Kyogre. Um, you have the three Reggies, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, uh, Reggie Rock, and then you have uh, Latios. Or Latios if you chose to go that route, I just like Latios better. Uh, I bet Latios is probably, probably could have been cuter, but whatever. Um, other Pokemon we could use on the team, I guess, if I ever wanted to. Pokemon on our team currently. Now, there is one last thing we can do. Uh, I'll probably challenge them real fast, to be honest. Uh, that said, though, let me move around my team members. Uh, because I want to bring in some of my highest level Pokemon. Uh, we'll bring Rayquaza instead of Altera. Uh, who else we want to bring in? So, Kyogre instead of King. Uh, I'll grab some of their items off them. And who is Groudon going to replace? Boris? No, I'd rather have a fire type on team. Lad isn't going to be all that helpful, to be honest. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't know what would be super effective against that. Uh, I'm going to get everyone to grab Kyogre, put Kyogre in the team. And let's grab you, Groudon. Um, reason why I'm uh, sacking up on the highest levels of my team is because, well, that's no, we don't want to be in here. Uh, of course, obviously, 40, 40, 40 when all my Pokemon are level 50. Again, level 40. Uh, you could potentially have been better, uh, uh, good on the team as well, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll take that, put that back in the bag. Yes, put them back. 
and Mystic Water, take, and just put it back. Alright, now we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna go to those items, and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, we're gonna do Mystic Water, we're gonna give that to uh, you, so your water type moves are more powerful, and give a Soft Sand to Groudon. Uh, now then, uh, also let's look at some uh, GMs real fast. Uh, tell you what, I'll skip out from here and whatever TMs, I'll teach them TMs and stuff like that in the meantime. So I'll catch you guys then. Alright everyone, we're back. Uh, this actually was a fairly large cut that I had to do to the video because uh, I went to the wrong fucking place. Uh, <laughs> for a second I actually thought I was in the right place, but no. Um, of course, all y'all remember, uh, north of Slateport City, there was the Trick House. I'm sorry to say we're not going back there ever again, because I don't want to do that ever again. Uh, here on Route 103, a new cave is opened up called the Altering Cave. The only thing you can really encounter in there is Zubats. I don't think there's anything new you can encounter there. Uh, if Altering Cave is similar to, if the existence of Altering Cave is similar to that of the existence of it in Fire Red, then, uh, there's basically nothing there. Now, for the person we really want to fight, however, they are inside Meteor Falls. So, uh, did I just run in through that sign? Oh my god, you can be on top of the sign. I did not know you could do that. Is my game broken or something? Are you supposed to be able to do that? I thought you were not supposed to be able to do that. I'll cut to us uh, in, um, at Meteor Falls, so I just figured I'd let y'all know right here. So, again, another cut. Alright, here we are in Meteor Falls, uh, so... Um, I might as well go ahead and use a Max Repel real fast, I haven't used one yet, but, um... Okay, so let's go ahead and get this show on the road. What we want to do is we want to go this way. Ah, oh, fuck, we don't have a Pokemon that has Terrifying. Um... Ah, oh, shit, we're going to have to teach those to... On second thought, be right back. Alright, we're back. Uh, I decided to go ahead and teach Kyogre both Surf and Waterfall because why the hell not? I wanted to have two powerful water type moves anyways. Uh, but okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get up this waterfall. And what we're looking for is this cave entrance. Now, I'm probably going to end up doing a little bit of running about because in all honesty, I do not know where uh, Steven Stone is because that's the person we're looking for. But we'll do our best to explore, and we'll actually try to hopefully avoid as many trainer battles as possible. Um, actually, no, I think we found him actually pretty quickly. Oh, there's TM23 Iron Tail, by the way, if any of you are interested. Uh, I think Iron Tail is a uh, one in it is an inac inaccurate move. Oh, never mind. Here we go. I think this is the place, right? This has got to be the place. This has to be the place. It looks so familiar. And there he is, Steven Stone. The strongest trainer you can face in Pokemon Emerald lies just ahead. Now the question is, is, who do we want to open up with? I'm thinking we'll go ahead and open up with Deku just to see what... I don't know, how about we open up... We'll open up with our Ace, or what Pokemon that's presumed to be our Ace, but I like to think Rayquaza, Kyogre, or Growler are more fitting that title in this team comp. But yeah, there's not really a reason to drop a save state, but I'm going to do so anyways, just because why not. Drop another one right here, actually. I do not intend to fight him seriously, but I just want to show that this is a battle that you can do, and I think it's on par with the battle you could do with Red in either the OG Generation 2 games, uh, Gold, um, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, or the remakes of it being Heart Golds and Soul Silver. So, yeah, that, I think this battle is just as hard as that one, if not, if not a little bit harder. Because if I remember correctly, all these Pokemon are right around their 70s or, or in their 80s, so yeah. Steven's a pretty powerful trainer in this, book, in this game. Yeah, I, I think they're kind of crazy. I think you really, really need to stop spending time in caves. Oh, and there we go. He's gonna fight us. Fighting your former cha uh, former champion, Steven Stone. Sending out a Skarmory. Oh yeah, that was a bad idea to send Doom Slayer out into. <laughs> oh, great. Isn't that fantastic? It's also a flying type, too, so I can't use Dig. 
we'll swap in the Varius. Because we can do this. Metagross. Hey Groudon, I got something for ya! <laughs> uh, I don't think Groudon's gonna be able to survive anything thrown this way. Oh, that's an amazing sprite, actually. I love that. Fire, what are we thinking? Fire Blast or Fissure? I'm thinking Fire Blast. Oh, and it landed! Hell yeah! Sadly, it's not stabbed, though. Oh god, is it gonna kill? Oh, I came very close, though. Oh, the Meteor Mash missed! The Meteor Mash missed! Oh, uh, I was thinking about using Solar Beam, I guess we can use another Fire Blast. Oh my god, that's as meta goes down! That's amazing! I was not expecting that! But you see how high level his Pokémon is. Um, that said that we're swapping out the Doom Slayer here. Actually, that's not a bad Sprite for Agron, that's why. And we're gonna just dig and see how well this does. I doubt we're gonna do very much damage. Oh, damn! I was not expecting- well, I mean, I expected to see Earthquake at some point here, but I was not expecting it that soon. I guess that means this is a job for something like Kyogre, or uh, Rayquaza. Yeah, because you see how much damage that did. Then again, Diggin isn't that powerful of a move. I'm thinking more so Rayquaza. Good god, game. Just so I can't use, uh, just so I can, just so that we see the limitations to his, uh, what he can do. You see how much damage that does, though. Uh, the question is, is do we keep Rayquaza in? Nah, let's, yeah, let's keep Rayquaza. Keep Rayquaza in? Yeah, we'll keep Rayquaza in, but we'll heal Rayquaza up real fast. Where the fuck's my four swords? They're right there, and I just went right past them. Oh, no, it's Dragon Claw. I didn't realize that. Well, that's what one dead. Cradilly. Okay. Cradilly is an awkward Pokemon. I believe I already mentioned a little bit about Cradilly. Cradilly, if I remember correctly, is a grass rock type. Uh, so that one's a bit awkward to deal with. I mean, we could always go back. Yeah, let's go back into Rayquaza. And just use Outrage. Oh, isn't that fucking great? I feel like I'm justified in using four swords because I most of my Pokemon on my team, or at least half the Pokemon on my team, aren't even uh, at uh, max level yet. Or aren't they're all, half my Pokemon on my team are level seven, the other ones are like in their fifties. So I feel like I'm justified in that. Uh, actually, hey, about this. Thunder Wave. Bring out Rayquaza. How about this? Oh god, this is a bit... Uh. I think we can just barely do it, though. Yeah, I think we could just barely do it. Armaldo. Actually, hey, let's try Fissure. Actually, hold up real fast. Let's do this. Because I think this is our only hope. Fly real fast, see what happens. Oh shit, this could go poorly actually. Uh, well, does it now move that super effective against Kyogre? No, it just no slash. And we actually won! I wasn't expecting that. I mean, the fact of the matter is, the only reason the only reason I won 
is because I had, well, A, I used the fucking four stars like a super soaker, that's for, that's for starters. Uh, and also I had Rayquaza, Groudon, and Kyogre on my team. So, yeah, I, 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 I like to think that it's not the fact that I became strong, it's just I'm insanely privileged with the Pokemon I have. <laughs> and don't say that no one on the team didn't contribute. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of it for this entire playthrough. I think that's just about everything you could potentially do. And we're going to tell Doomslayer to, even though Doomslayer is technically fainted, we're going to tell Doomslayer to uh, use Dig to get us the hell out of here faster. But, uh, yeah, with that said, though, however, again, we're going to tell one of our dead Pokemon to kind of, you know, go the extra mile. And I believe there's only one place to end this series off at. We're going to head into here. Uh, the audio, of course, obviously gargling in the background. Go into the PC, and real fast, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these legendaries out of our team. We don't need them in the team right now. Get out of here. You're, 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 you were helpful, but we don't need you right now. Just kind of rest up in here. Have a little fun with one another. Uh, right, quite to make sure none of them cause any trouble. Alright, back this way. Grab, uh, Claudia here. Grab King. And we'll also readjust them to make sure they're in the order of which we caught them as well, just to make things a little more interesting. So, let's see here. Yeah, move you around, and move you around, and I believe that's the correct order in which we caught them in. Uh, hold up. Make sure they're all fully healed. I'm pretty sure they're all fully healed regardless, but why not? And... Uh, of course, just like how our journey fucking started, running into wild fucking Pokemon in the fucking grass, give me a fucking chance to get there without running into any. And we're back in Little Root Town. The place where it all began for this playthrough. I'd have to say... It was fun coming back to Pokemon Emerald after such a long time. Of course, this wasn't just Emerald, this was Moemon too. I can't think of anything else that we could potentially do in this game. Of course, obviously, we didn't do absolutely everything as a heads up, so... But in any case, though, our Pokemon were quite amazing for this entire playthrough. Doom Slayer here, originally called Leafy at the beginning of our playthrough, did a wonderful job. There's our final move set for Doom Slayer. Pretty damn good, I'd say. Siphon Flash, I'm fucking pissed about. Lad, originally supposed to be a reference to uh, Rhode Island uh, inside of the game Azure Lane. Uh, there's the move set there as well. Deku, our, our Minatrix, about the best Minatrix I probably could have asked for, with the exception of the fact that it has the ability Lightning Rod, which is kind of stupid, I would have preferred Static, but whatever, and there's its moveset. Voriz, who, to be honest, wasn't actually the only team member our, uh, the only team member we had that wasn't a reference to something. It's supposed to be a combination of uh, Volcano and Tortoise, um, but... Yeah, I suppose that didn't turn out that well. Uh, there's uh, Voris's moveset. Claudia, who's supposed to be a reference to Nero uh, inside of uh, Fate, inside the Fate franchise, or more specifically, Fate Grand Order. There is uh, her moveset. And who can forget King, a reference to One Punch Man, because we had two scenarios in this game where literally you could have just did the whole the whole little opening to uh, One Punch Man Season 1, and it would fit perfectly. Um, but yeah, and there's uh, King's moveset. After this, I'm going to move on to playing Skyrim. 
Uh, but aside from that, uh, that's the main, that's the first series I'm going to try to record. I'm going to try to record five episodes of it, and then I'm going to move on to some of the other stuff I could potentially do, uh, record episodes for, uh, for just in case. But bear in mind, if no one says anything, I'm just going to go ahead and play Skyrim. But that said, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire series, actually. And I'll catch you guys in my next series. Because it's time for me to take a rest. I'll see you guys next time.